If no one trapped wolves in Tanana, then you ain't never gonna get a moose during fall time. In order to track an animal, you first gotta go to the area where they're at. When you're looking at a big picture of the landscape, you wanna figure out where they would go for their easiest and uh, most efficient route. They're not gonna hike over this hill through all this deep snow. You know, you just kinda try to think ahead and think where they're gonna step and you put a trap there. It's very hard to trap a wolf. I mean, they're, they're one of the smartest predators out there. You know, they can smell scent under three feet of snow. They come in here? They didn't even come in here. If you're trapping wolves, you gotta, you, you, that trap can't smell like you at all. So you gotta boil the trap with spruce boughs and the, or just leave it out in the wind for a week or so. And um, you have to have a brand new pair of gloves on it when you're setting it. And even your boots, you gotta have uh, rubber boots, they're bunny boots, they call them. Uh, just because you don't want, uh, you know, cloth boots, because that holds scent. And uh, you know, you just want to even set the trap off the back of your snow machine or something. You don't even want to touch the ground. And uh, you just got to be really sneaky and try not to leave any of your human scent behind or you know, that wolf will s smell it and easily just walk up. It's like, a, they, it's like a force field or something. Every, like they'll come 10 feet to it and they'll just walk a 10 foot circle around your trap. So you just got to be really smart and really careful about everything you do. And uh, if you do all those things, you, you, you might catch one, so it's, you definitely have to be lucky and uh, have a lot of experience doing it. So I, one day I'll be able to catch, you know, three, four, five in a year, but right now it's, I'm still learning and uh, you just gotta, you know, be, be smarter than the wolf, really. Huh.